unbelievable things fall apart is what is happening right here and now as we speak pdp g5 uh one of the g5 uh finally reveal why he's working with top apc governor so one of the pdp uh, g5 you know the g5 are the aggrieved governors who call themselves integrity uh, group who are not happy with um, the flag bearer who they expect to ask Ayo to resign. Ayo has insisted that he was nominated or voted into office in due process. And as a result, because Atiku, who is from the north, has emerged as a party flag bearer. And according to APC constitution, all parts in the party should be duly represented so that nobody feels out of place. He said he can't be bothered. He said he can't be bothered in respect of whatever is going on. He said he can't be bothered. He wants to ensure that uh, whatever goes on, you know, he must be the one to, you know, he must be the one to uh, get it no matter what happened. So these are part of the things that are going on. And every single one of us can see for ourselves that has become a, a serious point of call to ensure that we do the right thing. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's understand what is happening, really, truly speaking. PDP G5 Governor Otom finally reveals why he is working with top APC Governor. The Governor of Benue State has finally shed light on his relationship with a Boy State counterpart, David Omai. Otom on Sunday disclosed. Autumn on Sunday disclosed they are both working to end the incense conflict between two communities in Z community of Ado local government area in a Boeing state. Autumn disclosed further that the peace meeting will be held between the two state governments to put a total stop to the crisis and return the people back to their homes and restore peace. Governor Samuel Otom of Benue State on Sunday, January the 29th, revealed the real reason why he is working with the governor, David of Eboin State, David Omahi. Otom hinted that he and David Omahi, a governor under the All Progressive Congress, APC, we are working to end hostility between two communities at their borderline of both states, Daily Trust has reported. Otom speaks on ties of APC, ties with APC Governor David Omai, who is of the All Progressive Congress, formerly a PDP, formerly a PDP Governor. Otom, dro Otom dropped the hint during the Thanksgiving Mass for the official commissioning of a co Catholic parish house built at the Holy Cross Parish in a, in a dual local government area of the state. The two states are border lines, and right now there are issues going on between the two states, the communities that link up the two border lines. The PDP governor noted that for hostility between the people of EZ of a dual local government area, he was working to collaborate with Governor David Umai to end the inside conflict between the two brothers. Otom further disclosed that the peace meeting between the two states government will not hold in the area to sh as a show of commitment to bring the crisis to a stop so the people will return to their homes. So this is what is going on right now. This is what is going on. And everybody, you know, uh, will have to, you know, begin to work to ensure that at the end of the day, every single one of us are uh, understanding what is going on. Because politicians at the end of the day are politicians and most of them are truly, really looking out for themselves. Okay, most of them are not looking out for the people. Most of them, if not all, their aim and their purpose is for themselves. Okay, what concerns them and how it goes on. And so this is what is happening now. You know, the, the PDP governor, David Omai, and Samuel Utom, uh, David Omai of the El Progressive Congress, Samuel Utom of the People Democratic Party, have been working together in recent times. And that has sparked up a lot of reaction with people having to ask exactly what is going on between the jail. How come all of a sudden they have become friends? What exactly is happening? Okay, what exactly is happening? How have they become friends? Well, Autumn is making us understand that there is no, there's no much going on. It's just that um, 
two two uh, you know uh, areas you know two uh, border lines you know the states uh you know link one to the other it says the, the, the there is confusion and this is leading to you know uh issues going on between the two and that's what both of them are working out to resolve you know this is election year this election year and everybody you know is suspecting the other person people are speaking in terms of what they could possibly get people are speaking in terms of what could possibly come for them not because uh, you know they really care about the people so people just want to be you know people really want to be sure what they are doing okay in order for them to be able to understand what is happening right now okay so we just need to begin to understand you know the issues on ground you know the 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 governor of benue state you know is working to resolve issues and also the governor of a state anyway my people nigerians let's um, look out for getting best government right from the central and let it flow down let's not allow the same thing to repeat itself over and over again every time we have an opportunity to make a change can we really go for it can we truly stand for what we believe and do not allow people to infringe on what we believe you know should be the real truth to bring us out of the present predicament that nigeria as a people we are faced with Every time we leave ourselves to chance, we have not really done well. You know, there is opportunity for us to make a change. And what are we doing? You know, what are we doing to ensure that this change come? You know, so these are some of the things happening. And Nigerians, you can see for yourself that we need to begin to ensure that the same thing do not happen over and over again. You know, Nigerians, is about time. It's about time we act. And let's act wisely. Okay? Governors working together is not a problem. It's the individuals who are coming out for whatever position they are coming out from. We must, we must take a close, a close look and we must ensure, okay, that we, we dissect things critically well and we ensure that, you know, we, we are getting the right candidate. Not because somebody told us he wants to be, not because somebody told us he wants to be president or governor, then we just go ahead and pick. You know, so this is what is happening right now, my people. This is what is going on and why we all need to rise up and do not allow the same thing over and over again. God bless. Bye for now.